Good morning, everybody. The intention of the Mass is for Jim Cabri. The, the, the intention, sorry, it's for Kat Noonan. And we celebrate the memorial of Saint Jerome. <clears throat> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You ascend to hear the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who gave the priest St. Jerome a living and tender love for sacred scripture, grant that your people may be ever more faithful, faithfully nourished by your word, and find in it the fount of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Nehemiah. When the seventh month came, all the people gathered as one man on the square before the water gate. Then Ezra, the scribe, to bring the book of the law to Moses, which the Lord had prescribed for Israel. Accordingly, Ezra the priest brought the law before the assembly, consisting of men, women, and children old enough to understand. This was the first day of the seventh month. On the square before the water gate, in the presence of the men, women, and children old enough to understand, he read from the book from early morning till noon. All the people listened attentively to the book of the law. Ezra the scribe stood on a wooden dais erected for the purpose, in full view of all the people, since he stood higher than all the people. Ezra opened the book. And when he opened it, all the people stood up. Then Ezra blessed the Lord, and <clears throat> the great God, and all the people raised their hands and answered, Amen, Amen. Then they bowed down and faced to the ground, prostrated themselves before the Lord. The Levites explained the law of the people while the people remained standing. And Ezra read from the book of God, translating and giving the sense so that people understood what was read. Then Nehemiah, His Excellency, and the Ezra the priest, scribe, and the, <clears throat> the Levites who were instructing the people, said to all the people, This day is sacred to the Lord your God. Do not be mournful, do not weep, for the people were all in tears as they listened to the word of the law. He then said, go eat the fat, drink the sweet wine, and send a portion to the man who has nothing prepared ready. For this day is sacred to our Lord. Do not be sad, the joy of the Lord, your stronghold. And the Levites calmed all the people by saying, be at ease, this is a sacred day. Do not be sad. And all the people went off to eat and drink and to give a share away and beginning to enjoy themselves since they had understood the meaning of what had been proclaimed to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm, the precepts of the Lord are <clears throat> gladden the heart. The precepts of the Lord gladden the heart. The law of the Lord is perfect. It revives the stone. The rule of the Lord is to be trusted. It gives wisdom to the simple. The, the precepts, precepts of, of the Lord, Lord gladden the heart. heart. 
The precepts of the Lord are right, they gladden the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, it gives light to his eyes. The precepts, precepts of, of the, the Lord, Lord gladden, gladden the, the heart. heart. The fear of the Lord is holy, abiding forever. The decrees of the Lord are truth, and all of them just. The, the precepts, precepts of, of the Lord gladden the, the heart. heart. They are more than to be desired than gold, than the purest of gold, and sweeter they are than honey, and honey from the comb. The precepts, precepts of, of the Lord, Lord gladden in the heart. heart. Please stand to greet the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Alleluia. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The Lord appointed 72 others and sent them out ahead of him in pairs to all the towns and places he himself was to visit. He said to them, The harvest is rich, but the laborers are few. So ask the Lord of the harvest to send laborers to his harvest. Start off now, but remember I am sending you out like lambs among wolves. Carry no purse, no haversack, no sandals. Salute no one on the road. Whatever house you go into, let your first words be, Peace to this house. And if a man of peace lives there, your peace will go and rest on him. If not, he will come back to you. Stay in the same house, taking what food and drink they have to offer. For the laborer deserves his wages. Do not move from house to house. Whenever you go into a town where they make you welcome, eat what is set before you. Cure those who need who are sick and say, The kingdom of God is very near to you. But whenever you enter a town and they do not make you welcome, go into its street and say, We wipe off the very dust of your town that clings to our feet and leave it with you. Yet be sure of this, the kingdom of God is very near. I tell you, on that day it will not go as hard with Sodom as with that town. The Gospel of the Lord. The evangelist Luke reports Jesus sending out 72 missionaries and telling them to pray to the Lord of the harvest, to send out helpers to gather the harvest. We need to understand that this mission is not limited to the 12 apostles. Sharing the Lord's ministry is not limited to a minority clerical group. It needs many, many helpers. Because the harvest is great and varied, the more laborers, the better. This is a vital message for the church today. More and more people are needed to take responsibility for sharing the spirit of Jesus and for doing the work of the Lord. When sending out his large, this large group, Jesus warns of the difficulty they will face. Some towns will not make them feel welcome, but whether people make them welcome or not, the disciple should share something of the Spirit of Christ. The Lord is near, whether welcome or not. Jesus continues to work in and through those who want to play their part, whether or not they are appreciated. We are challenged to do something to promote God's kingdom of compassion and justice in the world. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Jerome. He was born around 340 AD in Dalmatia, present-day Yugoslavia. He is remembered for his work of translating the Bible from Greek to Latin and for his devotion in studying the scripture, writing, and teaching. Let us pray. Lord our God, you speak your word, and it challenges us to give you a response. Let it build us into a community responsive to you in loyalty and eager to follow your living word. Lord, hear us. Together with Mary we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Grant us, O Lord, that having meditated on your word, following the example of St. Jerome, we may more eagerly draw near to offer you, your majesty, the sacrifice of salvation to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of St. Jerome, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his word of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so the company of angels and saints will sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending thy spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, 
and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, take away the sins of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should turn down under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. 
body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Let us pray. May these holy gifts we have received, O Lord, as we rejoice in celebrating St. Jerome, stir up the hearts of your faithful, so that attentive to sacred teaching, they may understand the path that they are to follow, and by following it, obtain life everlasting through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, the Mass is ended.